teams, it's Susan here, your training manager, and today we're going to talk about selling from our website in our stores. As you know, we've had some great success since November with helping our customers find exactly what they're looking for by taking them to clicks.com. We're really excited to be able to walk through today and show you exactly the process of how to make that happen for your customer. We know that there's still a lot of stores out there that haven't had an opportunity to have their first web sale, or maybe you and your management team have, but your associates haven't been able to see how to walk through that process. So today, we're going to have some helpers from the Granite City store. They're going to walk you through exactly how to find what your customer needs. A great example of product that we have available on the website is Silver Jeans. So as you know, every store gets different styles of Silver Jeans and different links. But the website is one place where we stock all of our sizes and inseams that are available throughout the entire company. So if a customer walks in and they're looking for a silver jean in a 35 length and you don't have any 35 links to offer, the best thing for us to be able to do is take that customer to the website and find exactly what they are wanting. The best thing that we can do for our customers is find what they need at Glicks so that they don't go somewhere else to shop. So keep in mind some of the tools that we already have in place for stores. Your loyalty binder, which you can find all the instructions that we're going to talk about today for how to actually make a web sale, and being able to use your merchandise locator in your web IM. These are both really successful pieces to making this transaction happen for your customers. How'd you like those jeans? I really liked them, but I okay. needed a bigger size. A bigger size? Okay. Let me check and see if we have them online. Would you be interested in ordering them online? Is it going to take very long? No, not okay. at all. It's yeah. very easy. Okay. When you get to the merchandise locator, you're going to want to go through your search criteria and put it on UPC. Once you've done that, you can scan the item that you have in your store and search for other sizes that are available. So in this particular case, you can just find the UPC you're searching for. So you search for the size that you're looking for, and of course it's going to show you what your store has on hand first. And in this particular case, you don't have it on hand, which is why you're going to look in another location to check the website to see if it's available. After you've clicked on search other location, you can actually enter store 800, which is our web store. So all you have to do, type in 800 and search. And the next screen will tell you whether or not the web has that size available. And in this particular case, there's two of the size that your customer is looking for available on the web. All of this can be going on while your customer is still out shopping on the sales floor. All you have to do is step away for a few seconds to see if it's available before you take them any further in the web selling. Ma'am, we do have your size available online. Would you like to order it? Yes, I would. Do you guys accept Visa? We sure do, yes. All you need is a credit card or debit card and an email address. Okay. While I get your order started, if you want to go ahead and fill out that information there, Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, and just give me a quick second here, and I'll enter in all your information. Team, when we get to this screen, we want to make sure that we let the customer know that they've spent over $60 so they get free shipping, or they have the option of two-day shipping, or next day air. Those are options as far as uh, shipping to your customer. Then right below that where it says create account, we are never going to take personal information from our customers. So we are not going to create an account for them. And one of the really important things to remind our customers is that Glix doesn't save any of their information on this website. So the next time that they go to make a purchase online, they're going to have to enter in all of their information once again. So you're not added to any mailing list. We don't keep any of your credit card information. I think it's really important to point that out to your customer. So at this screen where it says create an account, you're going to click right on that box and that way it actually eliminates us from having to do that for the customer. Then you can continue on with your payment method. Teams, it's really important in order for you to get credit for any web sale at the bottom of the order, 
you have to put in the order notes your store number and your ring number. All right, ma'am, there's your receipt, and you will get an email with a confirmation number that it has been ordered, and you will also get a confirmation number on, from UPS when it is shipped. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You have a good day, Susan. You too. Team, I'm hoping that our little role play that we did for you will help you in making your first web sale or help your associates understand how easy it is to actually take the customer to the web and find what they're looking for. I did want to talk just a second about the customer loyalty binder. In the front of your loyalty binder is where you should have your web direction pages. And you can take your whole team through step by step all the things that we just did out on the floor. So I hope that you'll utilize the loyalty binder and the web to actually be able to give the best customer service that we can provide for our customers.